Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Lodato and I am so excited to be back with another lesson for you. Today we're going to do our phonics warm up, and then we're going to talk about problem and solution in a book. And then I'm going to read you the book and then we're going to use our reader brains to see if we can find the problem and solution in the book I read. But before I begin, I thought it would be fun to play a game. I want you to guess what the title of my book is going to be by some objects I have collected. So let's see what I have here. The first thing I have is a pencil or a paintbrush. So you can paint with it. So that's my first object. Do you have any idea what the title of my book could be? No? All right. And then I have a pencil. Just a regular old pencil. You probably use these a lot. <clears throat> the next thing I have is a popsicle stick. My popsicle sticks are all just colored. But it is a popsicle stick. So, so far I have a paintbrush, a pencil, and a popsicle stick. Hmm. And then I have just a regular old stick or twig. <clears throat> so that's it. And then, <clears throat> ooh, there might have been a little spider web on that one. Then the last thing I have is a spoon. You might use it to stir your noodles or your pasta. So those are the objects. So let's go over those again. I have a pencil, a paintbrush, a stick, a popsicle stick, and a wooden spoon. Mm -hmm. What could my book be about? Have you guessed it yet? Let me describe these in a little bit of a different way and see if you can find the similarities in them. I have a wooden paintbrush, a wooden pencil, a wooden popsicle stick, a wooden spoon, and then I have a stick that's made out of wood. So they all are made out of what? Yes, wood. Now the book that I'm going to read you is going to have lots of things made out of wood. And it, the main character is this. Who's this? What's this? A popsicle stick. At one point, popsicle stick was a popsicle. And then he melted. So the book I'm going to read you today is called Stick. And Stick, Popsicle Stick in our book, is going to have some problems. But I think he will be able to figure out some answers or solutions to his problems. So let's get started with our warm-up first. Follow my pointer and say them after me. A, apple, a. A safe A. E ed a. E peat e. I itch e. I pine I. O octopus ah. O home o you up a uh. you mule you you rule ooh great job on our vowels next we're going to work on our glued sounds copy me a L L ball all A M ham am A N fan an A N G fang ang I N G ring ing O N G song ong 
U-N-G Lung Ung A-N-K Bank Ink I-N-K Pink Ink O-N-K Honk Onk U-N-K Junk Unk Great job. Now we're going to do our R controlled vowels. A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er. I R bird er. You are burn er. Amazing. Now we're going to do our vowel teams. A I bait A. A Y play A. E E G P E. E A E T E E Y K E E O I coin oi O Y boy oi O A boat o O E to O O W snow plow O O U trout soup O O O school book O U E blue rescue O E W Chu U A U August Ah A W Saw Ah. Before I begin reading our book Stick, I want to give you a job. Your job is to figure out the problem and the solution in this book. Now, there are a whole bunch of little problems and little solutions, but I want you to think big picture, the problem and the solution while I read the book stick. Before we start, I'm just going to refresh your brains on problem and solution. So when you're trying to figure out the problem of a story, there are some questions that you need to ask. The first question you need to think in your head is, what went wrong in the story? If you know what went wrong in the story, that could lead you to your problem. Another thing that you can ask yourself is, what does the character want to change or fix? Sometimes there's not something that went wrong, but the character wants to change something or fix something. The last question you can ask yourself is, what challenge did the character face? So if you're able to answer one of those or many of those questions, that oftentimes will give you the problem. Now, solution's a little bit different. You're going to answer your the problem, so you're going to fix it. So the first question that your brain needs to think about is, how did the character solve the problem? If you can answer that, then that is your solution. Or what did the character do to fix what was wrong? Maybe he did something and it didn't just solve itself. The last question you can ask yourself is how did the character overcome their challenge? Sometimes it's something that is within the character and they just have to change their mindset. So while I'm reading this book, your job, or your mission is to think about the problem and the solution our main character stick has. 
Let's listen to our book. Sticks. Written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This story begins on a hot summer day when a cold tasty treat began melting away. It was so very hot and what happened so quick, what once was a popsicle was now a stained stick. Oh, that is a problem. Look at that poor popsicle. Now he's just a stick. Deep in a puddle that was getting quite sticky, this sad little stick cried and felt rather icky. I should not have gone out when it was so hot. I was sweet and amazing, but now I am not. What can I do? This has all gone so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? Then, Stick heard a voice from way up in a tree. Hello, down there. You can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you have been through. My name is Twig, and I'm made of wood, too. Please do not cry and just listen to me. Before a sweet popsicle, you were part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You will get through this and be more than before. Poor Stick doesn't think he's anything now that he's not a popsicle. Twig quickly jumped down from the very tall tree and said, Stick, there is something I'd like you to see. Sometimes things happen and the reasons aren't clear. But give it some time and the answers appear. She knew her friend Pencil could draw something grand. Hopefully she could help Stick understand. I was once a stick too and nothing much more. But then one special day I got a gray core. I didn't know how to draw, so I swirled a nice line, and then I discovered I made a design. That says, you are amazing. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot draw or do a fun trick. I'll always... Be just an icky, sticky stick. Twig knew she needed to show Stick even more, something amazing he could not ignore. So they went to see Brush. He was once lost too, but now he could paint with red, yellow, and blue. Brush was a plain stick and nothing more. But one special day, he got bristles galore. Look at him now. Look at all he can do. He easily made that fun splatter crew. It is true what Twig said. I once was just like you. Please don't be afraid to try something new. I know you are scared. I can tell by your face. But it might take some time to find your right place. Hmm, I wonder if Popsicle Stick's problem is solved yet. He's had lots of people help him, or things help him. Oh, we believe in you. Can't you see? I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot paint or do a fun trick. I'll always just be an icky, sticky stick. Listen to me. You are pretty great. Don't say I can't. Say I can and celebrate. I know you have 
not been a plain stick before, you have the chance now to be something more. Twix saw that stick was still very upset. So then she thought they should go back to where they first met. Back at the sweet puddle of sugary goo, Twig thought Stick might find a good clue. Then Twig looked up. It's been there all along. That little stick house is, could be where you belong. There's that little stick house. Twig was excited. She ran up the tree and shouted to Stick, Hurry up! Follow me! Stick couldn't believe Twig had climbed so high. I've never climbed a tree. I'm too scared to try. Do you think Stick should try? Just then, a bluebird flew down to the ground and lifted Stick up without making a sound. The bird placed him gently in the last open space. Finally, Stick found his new happy place. This is where I belong. I can make art in a tree. It was quite a journey, but I'm glad to be me. So is he just an icky, sticky stick anymore? No, he finished that birdhouse. Stick never forgot that one hot summer day and was glad his popsicle melted away. He made some true friends and beautiful tree art and learned it's never too late to have a fresh start. There he is. The end. And these are some directions of how to make a stick birdhouse. So usually just craft sticks and maybe some glue and markers and string. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I do. It's one of my favorites. Now I gave you a mission before we started reading the book. Your mission was to find the problem in the solution stick head. So while I was reading, I'm wondering what problem you thought that stick had. What went wrong? What did he want to change or fix? Or what challenge did the character face? So let's look at my blank flow map over here. So what was the problem? Go ahead and think about it and then shout it out at me. What was the problem stick had? Great job. I heard lots of friends say different answers and they all are very similar. So the big problem is Popsicle melted and then he was only a stick and he thought only being a stick was no good. That was the problem. He melted and then that ooey gooey stuff went everywhere. Now when we're doing solution, remember I want you to think how did Stick solve his problem? Um, what did he do? Or how did he overcome his challenge? Or who helped him? So thinking of the solution, how did he fix his problem? Did he get unmelted? Nope, he was melted. Once you're melted, you're melted. But he realized he wasn't only a stick. How? Tell me. <laughs> awesome job shouting out those ideas. The bluebird flew him up to the birdhouse where he fit perfectly with all those other popsicle sticks. So he did have a purpose or a reason. He was to be part of that birdhouse. So then he knew he wasn't just uh, any old stick. He had an important job to finish that birdhouse. Well, my loves, you worked extra hard today. <clears throat> we started with a riddle and you knew how to figure out the title of the book I was going to read. Then we did our phonics warm-up. Then we talked a little bit about problem and solution and questions we can ask and answer to help us figure that out. We went, read our great book, Stick, which I thought was funny and taught us some great lessons too. And then we found the problem and solution in Stick. Before we go, I have a one last challenge for you to do. And you can do it whenever you have time. It's a little bit of a 
STEM challenge where we can use materials and our brain powers to create something. So in the book, Popsicle Stick ended up being part of a birdhouse. So here's your STEM challenge. When you have time, you can use popsicle sticks or regular sticks that you might find in the yard, glue, string. There are so many things you can make. And I want you to use what you have to create a birdhouse. It can be like the one in the book that's made out of popsicle sticks. It can be one that you created from your own brain with tree branches that you found in your backyard. Get creative and have lots of fun. Bye.